Hey guys, Vrillis here with more Fan Fridays. So, this one looks like a nice little 3v3 raiding battle. It's the most brutal Pokemon that could encounter each other. Mega Medicham, probably Mega Kangaskhan, then just a Garchomp, Blaziken everywhere. Like, all the Pokemon could potentially Mega Evolve except for Cloyster. Goodness. Medicham is such a sick Pokemon. Like, that high jump kick is just going KO Mega Kangaskhan, and Mega Medicham is not going to get KO'd. I hope. Yeah. Yeah. Do it, boy! I don't know. I, I, I really like Meta Mega Metacham. He is just unbelievable if you've ever used him before. Oh, Fake Out. Still very strong. Soften, soften up that Kangaskhan. Oh, and Drain Punch. See, instead of having a uh, Fake Out, I have... It's, yeah, instead of having Fake Out, I have High Jump Kick, and instead of Drain Punch, I have Bullet Punch. And that leaves open a Thunder Punch for me. But that went very well. But this Shadow Ball is probably just going to straight up KO it. Yeah. Oh, crit. That's not fair. Because I have a full health Metacham. So it's 252 health, 252 attack. And he generally does very well. Blaziken with the speed boost. We'll see how this does against the Gengar. Just because Gengar is crazy silly. And Focus Sash. Knew it. Now, we know that this... Ooh, Destiny Bond. Way to play it risky, Gengar. See, when you get into a Destiny Bond lock like this, you've pretty much set yourself up. Because now it's, okay, I can't attack so they're going to get a free move on me. Or they're going to use Destiny Bond again. So I think that's going to be the next five turns, is this Destiny Bond stall. But all, all Gengar has to do is, like, turn around something that someone isn't expecting. Which makes me think that this Gengar doesn't know Psychic. It looks like Destiny Bond, Shadow Ball, I would say Dazzling Gleam, and then Sludge Bomb. Very... <laughs> this is just a silly setup now, so... Blaziken is going to get to the point where it's going to hyper-sweep out this Gengar. Oh, man. Once once all those Destiny Bond stacks go away. And that also d doesn't account for the Gengar having PP-ups, which means this could go on for 8 turns. Oh, Shadow Ball. Or that's one way to find out. Dunk. Using Home Claws? What? He used Shadow Ball. You don't have to worry about the Destiny Bond anymore. If it gets KO'd... I was about to say, if Blaziken gets KO'd, that's just going to be upsetting. Because of all that went into this. Destiny Bond. Hope your opponent doesn't bring any kind of stat boost to the table. And now, it doesn't matter. Garchomp is over. GG. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out if I should save this video because Mega Medicham did his thing and just kicked so much tail with it. Then we also have how Destiny Bond plays out. Because Destiny Bond does work, kids, that if you use it on the previous turn, the next turn Destiny Bond is still in effect until the Pokemon that used it attacks again. So I guess that's how you can handle a Destiny Bond stall. I'll post it anyway. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Fast little annoying little setup thing. But, you know, Mega Man Champ did cool things, so I like it.